Okay, we just left the Acropolis. Now we're gonna to try to find our way out to Corinth. And I am hopeful that I will be able to figure out how to get out of here. There are not too many choices, and I have my GPS set to hopefully tell me which way to go. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge because the streets in Athens are quite narrow and are uh, not, uh, not made for modern travel. They were great for many, many generations ago, but um, these days they are, they are less, than, uh, less than accessible. A little bit like an old town in Boston, only about 2,000 years older than that. Um, twisting narrow streets in downtown. Actually not so much twisting as just uh, all kinds of different directions. been a nice morning up on the uh, the Acropolis Hill. Lots and lots of tourists. It's a Saturday morning, so that's what you would expect, I suppose, on a Saturday. Turn right. And driving in a foreign country always has its own share of intrigue because you never quite know what uh, the new protocol is. And I'm just here to tell you that uh, in traffic circles in the United States hold precedence over the lanes of traffic that are coming into the circle, but that is not the way it is in Greece, at least not the way I believe it to be in Greece, because last night as I was uh, driving uh, through town, I was uh, in the circle and acting like I had the priority and was honked at uh, pretty substantially at one intersection, at one traffic circle, as well as at another one. So I learned that, okay, if that's the new norm, then the traffic circle is not the one that takes precedence. So it's the little things like that that keep uh, things interesting when you're traveling in a foreign country. And when you are not sure exactly what the protocol is, you just have to keep your eyes wide open. And 400 make meters, keep right make sure that you are uh, you know being as generous and as defensively driving as you possibly can this uh, old uh, Citrion uh, Oh, I don't even remember what the uh, name of it is, but it is a little puddle jumper car, and I certainly would like to have a better one, but this is the one they gave me. It's only got about uh, 27,000 kilometers on it, it says, but I suspect that it's been rolled over at least once, just because it is, it is so, um, well, it feels ancient. Uh, had a number of spots uh, and scratches out around, and the gentleman who checked it out for me at the rental car agency suggested that I go around and video him where he uh, points out the parts that are the, the, the little scratches and the nicks and the dings on them. Uh, some of them he was pointing out were actually just bug hits on the, on the front, which was interesting. That right. He should be that concerned about uh, bug hits, but who knows? Um, now, keep right. Does that mean we need to go down? It looks like that means we need to go down into this area here without running over this lady here who is obviously not in the mood to get run over and there is a vehicle coming out of the nowhere. So we'll see if this is the correct way. I'm, I'm thinking it is. I'm hoping it is. And if it is not, then we are kind of out of luck. And if it is, we are in business. So we'll see. And I probably won't even know until I get too far down the road and then my GPS will recalculate. So far, it's looking good, though. Again, this is Athens, Greece on a Saturday morning, mid-late morning, and I'm heading out to Corinth to see what is, uh, 
what's happening out in Corinth before I probably rest and chill out the rest of the day. I've just about seen enough sights and sounds after 10 or 11 countries or 8 or 9, I don't even remember how many, but it's been uh, quite an experience, quite interesting and uh, very rewarding, but uh, I am just about beat when it comes to uh, seeing a whole lot of new sights. I had debated driving out to uh, uh, Thessalonica, which is about 300 miles north, but that would have meant a 600 mile round trip. There was no way to fit in some of the things in Athens that I wanted to fit in, so I decided that that would uh, that Thessalonica would probably still be there when uh, when I came back in uh, any amount of years, and it would be uh, just as enjoyable then as it would be at the end of a very long vacation. Really would like to bring Laura back sometime. Uh, Greek is a nice Greece is a nice country to visit. Lots of tourists. I was uh, just up on Mars Hill with a group of uh, well, just uh, you know people that were gathered there, and I, I asked an American kid from uh, New Jersey to uh, take my picture with the Acropolis in the background, and uh, he did that. And then he asked if uh, where I was from. I said Wisconsin. Asked if I was a Packers fan, and certainly am so uh, he uh, he said he was from uh, Chicago actually originally so was a Bears fan somehow that all came together but in any case uh, we were not talking philosophy like the Apostle Paul was 2,000 years ago and an unknown God uh, unknown in quotes but uh, we were talking about uh, NFL football I think uh, maybe Paul would have been proud I don't know uh, in any case uh, the Apostle uh, certainly did his share of convincing and of, uh, of uh, reasoning with the Greeks up on Mars Hill. They were always looking for something new to, to think on and to, uh, to concern themselves with to the point where they had built an altar to the unknown God uh, according to the scriptures and, and Paul pointed that out is, is that that is the real God and uh, certainly that's, that's the story the scripture gives. go into a tunnel. The tunnel says wake up on the uh, bridge that goes over the tunnel. One of the things you'll see and you may have noticed on the video is a lot of uh, graffiti all over and uh, it's just curious to me that the graffiti is allowed. It reminds me a lot of New York City back uh, 30 years ago and I don't know how it is that they did that or why they did it. It seems very destructive to me. Possibly it could be seen as art, but uh, doesn't fit with my with my style of art, I guess. But I guess if the Greeks want it that way, they can have it that way, because it is, after all, their country. And as I uh, may have said earlier, the economics of this place this place is definitely not vibrant. Um, and you can just sense that there's uh, really a lot more garbage here on the streets and out on the side. You can see it blowing up against the fence. In one kilometer, turn left. Then there was in uh, the UAE, Qatar, and Bahrain were all very, very clean. Lots of uh, trash receptacles all over, fines for littering. Uh, Bahrain even had uh, some recycling going on at the uh, at the airport. At least I don't know if they did otherwise. But um, we are in a in a more uh, in, a, in a less cared for society here, I suppose, would be the best way to put it. Now, you know, in, in Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia in the in the worst areas of town was not that cleaned up litter wise. There was uh, quite a lot of it, but um, in the more affluent neighborhoods, it was much more cleaned up, which is probably what you'd expect. drive through beautiful Athens and uh, we don't know if uh, this is a divided intersection or not but it seems like there's kind of two lanes here a uh, di uh, divided In road or not meters, but turn left. the uh, car is behind me isn't coming alongside of me so maybe that means it is a single a single width intersection I don't really know 
but looks like we're going to make a left turn. Hopefully this is to grab a bigger road uh, on out of town. keep getting a little bigger and a little bigger I think after a while we'll be on a uh, toll road uh, type road that uh, will take us on out to Corinth. Ten right. I had to cross over two lines of traffic or a line of traffic because I didn't uh, the GPS didn't give me as much advanced warning as I'd like and the, the gentleman uh, waited for me and was patient in Saudi Arabia if you uh, put your hand out and uh, just kind of flutter it in the wind uh, so that you let people know that you want to come over they are very gracious at that point uh, but if you just go over and merge like I did without doing that they don't like it um, and uh, they consider it uh, a rude thing so just a nice gesture to put your hand out and ask uh, people to uh, to just kind of hold back and uh, all of a sudden the Red Sea parts and uh, people uh, people respect that